Hey, Internet Entrepreneur, we're going to talk about three ways for generating powerful content ideas. These three ways are designed to keep your audience engaged with your blog, Facebook page, YouTube account, email newsletter, or wherever they are tuning into. Number one, we're going to talk about the power of breaking news. Second, using popular questions as content ideas. And finally, what's currently trending. Number one, breaking news. You want to consider current affairs that are relevant to your audience. Maybe there's something going on with the weather or the season or maybe there's a certain hit game on the iPhone that everyone just absolutely loves or maybe there's a holiday you want to consider current affairs and look at places like Google Trends to find out what's currently hot number two you want to leverage popular questions things that your audience are already curious about they have already expressed their interest so why don't you provide answers to these existing questions you want to get inspired by the conversations that you tend to have with their existing prospects and customers document them and turn them into FAQs beyond your existing conversations with customers or your leads you want to go to places like Quora and Reddit to find out what people want to know whether they're already a part of your existing tribe or not let's move on to considering trending content you want to do what works so you want to look for what's trending using tools like BuzzSumo, which gives you access for free with their free tier at the moment. It's currently available. You can look for the most shared pieces based on your search term. But you can also go to communities like Medium and look at their top stories. Or you can go to YouTube, which has a trending section. You want to make use of these trending ideas and emulate how they storytell to the audience. You can get inspired by the topics that they use, the formats, their headlines, and how they storytell. So, just to recap, the three ways are, number one, you want to get your finger on the pulse when it comes to breaking news number two you want to identify the frequently asked popular questions and finally you want to consider what's currently trending in front of your audience there you have it go pick one of the three and apply it today